Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with sensiblemom.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have three hauls to share with you. The first one is from Costco, and then I've also got a Sam's Club haul and a Fresh Time Farmers Market haul. This that that's a new store that we started going to, and this was only our second time there today, and we like it. So I may start sharing those hauls with you more regularly. But anyway, I'm gonna start off with Costco. We spent right around $54 there. And we picked up some of this Laurie's seasoned salt because we are all out. So I wanted to go ahead and stock our pantry with this again. We like using seasoned salt on different meats and stuff like that. And then we also picked up some of this ground Himalayan pink salt because we like to get giant containers of the Himalayan pink salt at Costco and just as you can see here we just uh, fill up our salt shaker little by little with uh, the um, salt from the bigger container so I didn't get this at Costco but I wanted to show you guys how we actually use the big container of salt we just use it to fill up our smaller salt shaker little by little and this is all the salt that we have left right now here in the shaker so that's why we had to go ahead and buy some more so I'm excited to have that back in the pantry and by the way the Laurie seasoned salt was $5.99 and then the Himalayan pink salt was $6.69 and next we picked up some of this Dove body and face wash and my oldest son and my husband used this and we decided to go ahead and grab it today because it's on sale for only $9.99. It's typically $12.99 at Costco and right now it's $3 off the regular $12.99 price. So we went ahead and grabbed that. And next we bought this four pack of hand soaps for $9.99. And we don't normally buy hand soaps like this. We typically buy the hand soap refills from Costco or Sam's Club or Target or Walmart or something like that. But we haven't been able to find those. So we finally just gave in and bought this today. And this will be fine. We'll take these and use them here in the kitchen. I like to keep hand soap in the kitchen. And as you guys can see, I've got two hand soap dispensers there. One is my dish soap that I use to wash dishes and then the other one off to the side way back there is my hand soap hand soap but as you can see it's empty because we haven't been able to refill it because we're all out we are good on hand soap in our bathrooms because we've got hand soap dispensers in there and we are all stocked up on on that type of hand soap because they're Purell hand soap dispensers and we were able to get a um, Purell hand soap for those a while ago before all of the madness that's going on right now it's my husband was able to find hand soap for those ones on clearance for like four dollars each but i'll have to insert a little bit of video here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but we're good in our bathrooms i just wanted some hand soap for our sink area and these will be good i'm sure that these are going to actually end up lasting us for years but and they're cute so that's a bonus but anyway, moving along, we also bought some bacon because we have uh, used up the bacon that we bought from Costco. This is delicious. This was $10.89 for the two pack of thick cut bacon. And then there's just one more thing I need to show you guys that we picked up from Costco. The last thing that we picked up is this bag of mulch because it's on sale right now at Costco. It was $7.89, I believe. I think it's originally $9.89 and it's $2 off right now. So we're going to use this outside and see how we like it. And then we may end up buying more. The sale price goes until April 12th. So we'll see how we end up liking this and see how it looks outside. So this is everything that we picked up from Costco and now I'll show you guys what we brought home from Sam's Club. So at Sam's Club we spent around $95 for the things that we picked up there. And as you guys can see we found the chips that we like. They are back in stock at our local Sam's Club and these are $1.99 or $1.98 each. So I'm very happy to have those again and those would go into our pantry. And then we also picked up some ground beef and this pack here is almost five pounds and 
it was $14.02. So this is gonna go into the freezer for now and I'm probably gonna use it to make tacos or um, spaghetti with meat sauce or something like that. Next, I picked up a pair of these Raffaella Capris and these are really going to fit me like pants, most likely, because I'm short. But this brand just really works for me. I've purchased, I think, four pairs of pants or capris uh, of this brand, Raffaella brand. And they just work out really well for me. And I love them. And so I went ahead and picked these up today for I think $14.98, $14.99, something like that. So they are a great price and really good quality. They probably are going to last me, I'm gonna guess, about a year and a half. And so I think that that is um, a pretty good deal for a pair of pants from a brand that I really like. I will let you guys know, I'll pop up a message here and let you know if these did end up working out or if I end up having to return them. I don't think I will but I'll let you guys know. And next we picked up a pair of shorts for my son. These were $12.99 I think, and he just needs some more shorts. So I went ahead and picked these up. These look good. They are Reebok shorts, and I think that's you know, a pretty decent price for a pair of Reebok shorts. And then we picked up two shop lights. And these were 21 something a piece. I will pop up the price here on the screen. But we are gonna be starting our garden very soon. I say we, but I mean my husband. Um, these are gonna go into our garage and he's going to start growing our plants from seeds. So these are going to be our grow lights. And they are Honeywell LED linkable shop lights. And so I hope that these work out. I think that they will. And so we're gonna start our garden very soon and that's very exciting. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going to be gardening this year or if you have already started gardening. That's probably pretty exciting if you've already been able to get started. I know it just depends on where you live. We are in Illinois and so we have to get started a little bit later than people in warmer climates. But that's it, you guys. This is what I brought home from Sam's Club. And now I'm gonna show you what we ended up picking up from Fresh Time Market. So we ended up spending a little over $6 at the Fresh Time Market. And like I said, this is a new to us store. They would send us their ads, but I just, I don't know. You know, I'm, it takes me, it takes me a while to warm up to new places, new stores anyway, new grocery stores, because I'm just so used to what I'm familiar with. But we decided to go ahead and give the Fresh Time Market a try, and we really like it. So we just got a small haul today. We picked up some tomatoes. These were $2.99 a pound. Not a great price, but I wanted to get some tomatoes because we used the last of our tomatoes yesterday and I'm going to be making tacos for dinner today. So I wanted to get some tomatoes while we were there. So we went ahead and grabbed those. And then we picked up two cucumbers because I used the last of our uh, English cucumbers or greenhouse cucumbers, whatever these are called, yesterday with dinner. So we picked up a couple more today. These were 99 cents each. And then we picked up some non-GMO ears of corn. And I have never been able to find non-GMO ears of corn in our area. So it was really nice to be able to find this there today. These were only 25 cents each. So we went ahead and picked up six of those. And this is everything that we brought home today from the Fresh Time Farmer's Market. And that's all for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope that you guys are doing well and staying healthy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.